beautiful people, my name is Amanda Zitto. If you're new here, I make motorcycle travel content. I make vlogs, how-tos, and general encouragement for you to get out into the world and do the thing. Today we're doing something just a little bit different. I do want to talk to you about the new Cena 10C Evo now that I've had it for a little while. Also because Matt asked me to talk about it. Um, but we can't just do a product review because it is gorgeous and there are blue skies again here in Portland. I am hoping this is going to be a trend and I get to get out a little bit more. It's actually like 50 degrees, so it feels like a heat wave. So I'm also going to show you a little bit of the beautiful Columbia River Gorge, which I get to call part of my home. It's less than an hour's ride from my house, so I feel very fortunate. Um, and I want to share it with all of you. So let's get to it. Remember how last week I talked about it being the first day that we've had blue skies in ages? Well, it's flipping 50 degrees and gorgeous, so I am out and taking advantage of it. One of the remarkable things about the Columbia River Gorge highway is that it was literally built to create a beautiful road that moved with the landscape. It was built by Sam Hill, and if you're unfamiliar with Sam Hill, but the name sounds familiar, he is also the gentleman who built the Mary Hill Museum outside of the Dalles, and the Mary Hill Loops, which was actually Sam Hill's practice ground for building the Columbia River Gorge Highway. And a part of this building project, he created Vista House, which a lot of people joke about as being the $100,000 outhouse. <laughs> Work on this highway began in 1913 and it was finished in 1922, which also makes it the oldest historic highway in the United States. Final thoughts on the Cena 10C Evo. I think it's a great camera. Cena has done an amazing job of making leaps and bounds ahead of what their technology was before. Specifically talking about the resolution of the video, control over frame rates, and the app. I cannot say enough good things about the app. It is so nice to have control via the app so that you can see what the camera is seeing on your phone. So there's so much less guessing about what's in frame, if the camera's angled properly so the horizon is straight, um, and then recording the whole video and getting home and realizing that the only thing that you could see in frame is your windshield. There's none of that with the Tensi Evo because you can connect it to your phone, you can see exactly what the camera sees, and you have the benefit of seeing if it is recording or if it's not, especially when you first start using it and you're still figuring out how it works. I feel like more and more people are getting into not necessarily motovlogging, but trying to document their trip so they have some kind of record of this amazing trip that they went on. And if you're already going to dump the money for a communication system, the 10 Evo is an amazing route to go, especially if you're just getting into motovlogging or recording your trips. Um, I think this is a great route to go. And personal opinion, I think just the footage that I'm getting from the 10 Evo is so much more reliable than the back and forth and the trouble issues that I've been having with the GoPro. I think after you get used to all the buttons, it is also more user friendly. You know, the app works every single time. I have never been able to get the GoPro app to work when I'm not at home. There's also the fact that you don't have to worry about how you're going to be mounting it to your helmet because the all Cena's come with the mounting equipment 
for any kind of helmet. It has a different mic system for a closed face versus an open face. They have like the little mic bar that's on my helmet. All of the mounting equipment, all of that stuff comes with the thing. You don't have to worry about trying to buy extra bits and pieces like you do on a GoPro or any other action camera. And you know, if you're just getting started and you want to start doing the moto vlog thing, this is an excellent way to go. The mic is already connected to the camera. You don't have to do anything in post to connect that audio to your footage. Like literally my only gripe right now is the battery life. <laughs> Hasina, if you're listening, I would love an option to change out the batteries specifically for the camera so that I can carry maybe three or four and change them out throughout the day or throughout like my whole trip. That would be awesome. Like, the comm system will run all day. No gripes about that. Still very the solid Sina technology that I've become accustomed to. I think there's a learning curve with any kind of technology that you get, whether it's the GoPro, whether it's the Tensi Evo, or any other kind of camera, there's definitely a little learning curve and that's gonna be there with anything, so I don't count that as a bad thing. But the camera battery life is still really short. Super scientific, I know. Um, I'll put a little list on the screen here um, with all of the resolutions and frame rates that are available to you with the new Tensi Evo because that's really the part of the specs that I care about, not necessarily like how many riders you can connect to and that kind of stuff because as we all know, I normally ride by myself. Uh, <laughs> there's really only three people that I have consistently talked to via com to com that I know well enough and I trust well enough and I get along well enough to have inside my head essentially. <laughs> Anyway guys, I hope that you got something out of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, that's all that I got for you today. If you like this content and would like to support my channel for as little as $1 a month, you can get early access to videos like these over on my Patreon account. If that's not up your alley, that's totally okay. You can buy me a gallon of gas over on my Ko-Fi. I also have stickers, t-shirts, prints, all the good things with my motorcycle art on them uh, over on my Redbubble and my Etsy shop if you would like to get those. If you can't support me monetarily right now, that is absolutely okay. I appreciate you guys just for being here every week. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you. I know it's been kind of all over the place, but my question for you is, what is your favorite scenic highway that is closest to where you live? I'll see you guys later.